good. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I want to let you know, um, I know that there's been some trouble with making sure kids are logged into PBIS Rewards, right, to enter the raffle. So I wanted to do a short video to show you how to do it. So when a kid comes to you and they cannot log into the raffle, um, it's usually because their PBIS Rewards looks like this. Notice that Colin's last name is not at the top under his first name and that he only has three of those green bars. That means he's not logged in correctly. So what you have to do is you have to go up to that sign out button and have the kids sign out. After they hit sign out, this is the screen that you will see. Um, you will need to have them click on that blue bar um, in the middle of the page that says, I have an authorization code. You will then have to get on PBIS Rewards, and you can see this is the um, bottom of the menu that is on the left-hand side of your desktop computer. Um, the little arrow that's kind of going into the half of a box um, the second one from the bottom, you're going to need to click on that so that you can get a student authorization code. Once you click on that little arrow with the half of a box, you will see at the very top there will be four boxes that look like this. One of them will say, oh, maybe mine has four boxes. You'll, yours will only have two. One of them will say my authorization code. The other one will say student authorization code. You click on that. Then you go up to the top where the green circle is with the plus sign here in the picture where the hand is, the cursor is, and it will say new code. And then you will go to the middle of the page where it says student search and you will start to type in the student's name. You can see I started to type Colin's name and all sorts of people that had Colin's in their name came up. And then you can just click on the person that you need. I pick Colin's name and then I click generated generate code right under his name and then they will give you a code for Colin to enter into his iPad so then you you're off the your desktop and you look at Colin's iPad again again you type in you hit the blue bar that says I have an authorization code this will pop up and then that uh, three section nine digit authorization code you can enter that into Colin's iPad. And after you hit submit, you will see that Colin's screen will look like this now. Notice how his last name is under his first name. He's got today's period, year end uh, totals for his cat cash. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven green bars. He clicks on raffle, goes over to the right where it says details, picks the correct one, group A or B, and then he clicks on details. After he clicks on details, this screen will come on and he's gonna wanna click on register. And then right in that box that's in the middle of um, that open box under the 77 between the one and the zero, it says he has a balance of 77, so he can pick one through 77, put it in there, and that's how many times he's entered the raffle, and then hit save entry, and he's in the raffle. And that is how you help kids log on, register, authorize for the raffle. If they wanna buy anything from the school store and can't do it, it's because they're not logged in and authorized correctly. So please make sure that you help them out. Um, and if you need help or you want to see me run through it in person, I would be happy to do that. Um, but kids need to be authorized in, or, uh, in the PBIS Rewards app before they can buy it. So if you can't see their last name, they can't enter the raffle, they can't buy on their opening page on their iPad. Have a great day.